Yeah. Let's go. The more you do the movement really intentionally, two, three, four, two, three, four, the faster that signal gets. Basically, you're able to perform the movement easier and quicker without having to think about it. Hey, two. Sprint, 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 recover back. So that that signal from your brain to your muscles gets faster and faster and faster and faster. And you learn the movement. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. So we're gonna warm up first. We're gonna do dynamic warm up. Very similar to what you do out there with Coach Chris. Okay. All right, so we'll start on this side. Okay. All right, so starting off, we just got a simple jog down, back pedal back. All right, we're just okay. getting the blood pumping. That's pretty easy. And then back pedal back and nice and low. Yeah, let's do that two times. All right, now next up, we're gonna go forward skips with arm swings. Forward and then we'll go backwards back. All right, Okay. go. That's better. Essentially, like when you teach a child a new movement, new motor skill, it takes a while for the signal to travel from the brain to those muscular groups to perform the movement. But the more you do the movement really intentionally, the faster that signal gets. And basically, you're able to perform the movement easier and quicker without having to think about it. It's really important that you understand intentional practice or intentional focus, you understand? So that when you're doing these movements, you're really thinking about exactly what you're doing so that that signal from your brain to your muscles gets faster and faster and faster and faster and you learn the movement okay so there's gonna be a lot of movements where maybe it doesn't really make sense but the more you do it the faster the signal gets from your brain to your muscles and you'll be able to do the movement faster and that's how you learn a new movement okay all right anyways here we go starting off with side shuffle next down staying nice and low the whole time all right down and back two times ready go next we're standing up we're going into a side leg kick out. Down and then back. Let's see it. Okay. Nice. All right, now we're going into a karaoke. Okay, I like to drive the knee up a little bit as I come across the body. I'm not used to doing that. There we go. Big twist. And a skip. So an A skip is kind of like a regular skip, but it's with a high knee. Okay, so this is what it looks like. A little bounce, and we're gonna drive the knee up, point the toe up, find a nice little rhythm. Use your arms. Yeah, that's pretty good. Point the toe up. Okay, you see how your toe's pointed down like this? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and flex that foot up every time. Nice. With these drills, we want to make sure that we incorporate the arms as well. So we're doing uh, high knees next. High knees, nice and tall. Excellent. Same thing back. All right. Now we're going to go facing sideways. Lateral high knees. Down and back. There you go. Okay. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Switch. Let's do that again. Okay. You're going same arm, same leg. Now let's go opposite arm. Opposite leg. Beautiful. Awesome. So now we're going to do what's called a high knee switch. So basically, it's almost like what you were doing earlier. We're going to start with our knee up. We're going to go one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two, three. So three hops in between. Remember what I said about arms? Okay, not bad. We're gonna make one adjustment. We're gonna do, instead of putting one foot down and lifting the other, we're going to switch them at the same time. Does that make sense? Yeah. There we go. Way better. Now we go single leg hop. We're going to left leg first. And we're trying to Get on and off the ground as quick as we can. So quick, quick, quick. Same leg, yeah. We'll do the other leg on the way. Yes. And then we'll finish this off with broad jumps. So big jumps forward. All right, I want to see you make it to the end of the room in four jumps. Good. Nice. 
Okay, let's stretch it out really fast. Uh, I'm gonna start you off in some resistance bands and we're gonna do some resisted work. Starting off, we'll go with knee hooks first. Okay. So let's just walk it down. Big pull up. Okay, on the way back, we're gonna go into cradle stretch. Nice. What's next? Quad stretch. Hey, quad stretch. <laughs> There we go. Okay. And then we got mm -hmm. hamstring scoops nice and low. All right. And then finally, groin stretch. Okay. Side to side. Big step. Switch. Before we get into this, we're gonna do a couple balance drills just to make sure that your feet and ankles are warm and primed. Single leg balance. So here's what we're gonna do. Stand on one leg. Now as we drive the right knee, we're gonna twist to the right. Can you do that? Good. Now, we're gonna bend forward, kick the right leg back, and now twist to the other side. Hold balance. Okay, now same thing. Drive back up, right knee goes up. I'm sorry, I messed you up. Big twist to the right. Pull. Okay, kick that right leg back, hinge forward, twist to the left. Let's do five of those. And one more. Dude, nice. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna do the other leg. See, see which leg is uh, is better. Right leg's better. Probably. All right, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Drive the left knee. Rotate to the left. Kick the left leg back. Rotate to the right. That's one. Five. Awesome. Okay. Got it. I know you look this way. All right, one more piece. All right, let's get used to the the motion. Uh, so go ahead and step inside. Uh, so let's just get used. Thing. Let's get used to it. Let's turn sideways. We're gonna start with a side shuffle first. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna side shuffle all the way down to the end of the room. Rapid fire, just boom, fast, go fast. <laughs> it's Ooh, it's heavy, it. huh? Okay, come back. You know what we'll do? Is we're gonna use one of these only. What? For now. Uh, so you get used to it. Okay, so let's try again. Not... Side shuffle all the way down. There we go, that's better. And back. Okay, let's go five times. Side shuffle down, back pedal back. All the way down. Nice, controlled on the way back. Stay down on the way back too. And relax. All right, so now we're gonna flip around. We'll face that way, and we're gonna do the other side. Same thing. No, we'll face this oh. way. We're going side shuffle, <laughs> other right. side. Our goal is to keep your chest up, facing that wall, but your head can't come above my hand. All right, I'm trying to stay down. There you go. Ready? And go. Good, all the way down. Ooh. Pick up the speed now, pick up the speed. Okay, and go, fast as you can, fast as you can. Nice. Oh, control it on the way back. Yeah. Don't let it, don't let it pull you over, there you go. All right, so now we're gonna get used to forward sprint and back pedal. So, we're gonna sprint forward and then back pedal back. Don't let it pull you to the ground. Okay, make sure you're controlled, all right, go. Okay, back pedal, back pedal, back pedal, back pedal, nice controlled, and go. Nice. Five times, as fast as you can. Okay, last one to get used to it. We're gonna flip around. Now we're gonna start in a back pedal this way. Sprint back. And then you're gonna sprint back, but you have to make sure that you stop nice and controlled. So you gotta stay low. Okay, come forward and stay controlled. Not bad. 
down, get down, get down, get down. There we go. Sprint forward, nice slow stop. And relax. Okay, is that five or is that four? I think that was four. All right, one more. Good. Okay, Done. good. You can go ahead and drop that, catch your breath. I'm gonna set up some cones. Are we doing like a reaction drill? Yeah, we're gonna do some reaction. I knew it. How'd you know? I just know the setup. All right, hop in. This thing now. Yep. Now I'm gonna label these cones. The okay. two right next to you, on either side of you. A and B. Yeah, this is A, that's B. Okay. Okay, this. One, two, three, four. One, two, One, two three, three, four. four. Yeah. We'll keep it easy, then we'll make it harder. So every time you touch a cone, you're gonna recover back to that spot. Okay. If I say a cone, let's say I say one, you come over, you touch one, and then you're recovering back. Even if you don't make it all the way back and I say another one, you're just gonna stop where you are and go. Change directions. Okay. The goal is to touch these two with your left hand and these two with your right hand. Okay. Okay, same with that. Left hardest. hand, right hand. Not the hardest. Easy enough? Yeah. Let's see. Athletic stance, get ready, set, and A. B. A. One. Sprint, 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 sprint. Recover back. Two. Four. A. A. B. A. Two. One. Whoa. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three. B. Which one? B. <laughs> A. B. And relax. Okay. You got it? Yeah. We're going to make it harder now. Level two. All right. We're going to go one, three, four, two. How about that? Okay. You got it? I love doing this drill because it just works on reaction. Essentially, I label these, each of these cones a different number or letter, um, depending on how advanced you want it. And um, by just calling out numbers or letters, they're forced to react where they are in space and learn how to change directions as efficiently as they possibly can, especially because they're in resistance. If they don't change directions efficiently, resistance will kind of pull them over in a place they don't want to be and they'll mess up. So the more that they kind of go through those mistakes, the more they'll learn to correct them and the more efficiently they'll move just within a confined space. And so, yeah, I love doing this drill because it really translates to court, especially when they have to react to balls and every split second counts and they can't have any wasted seconds or wasted movements when trying to change directions, so.